Ovarian cancer too often goes undiagnosed until its late stages, and it's typically resistant to chemotherapy. A new technique that images cancer cells while simultaneously killing them could improve outcomes for tens of thousands of women diagnosed with ovarian cancer every year. Find out how this week on Light Matters. This is Light Matters for January 14th, 2015. I'm Justine Murphy. And I'm James Lowe. On this week's show, we'll talk with a researcher developing a two-in-one imaging and therapeutic platform for ovarian cancer. We'll also explore a new optoacoustic modulator that allows unprecedented control of laser beams, plus the latest business news and the finalists for the PRISM Award in materials and coatings. A new acousto-optic modulator can steer laser beams at unprecedented speeds, potentially enabling finer light control for microscopy and other applications. Researchers from the universities of Bristol and Dundee in the UK used the device to convert a Gaussian laser beam into a Bessel beam with tunable order and position. It features a liquid-filled cavity surrounded by a cylindrical ultrasound transducer made up of 64 piezoelectric elements. The device works more quickly than existing spatial light modulators, with millions of refreshes per second possible. It also allows higher laser powers. Microscopy in particular stands to benefit from the device. The researchers envision reconfigurable lenses that automatically compensate for optical aberrations, as well as a new generation of rapidly reconfigurable optical tweezers. Other applications may include beam shaping for laser materials processing and free space optical communications. The research was published in Optics Express. In business news this week, Intel has acquired a 30% stake in smart glasses firm Vuzix. The Rochester, New York company plans to use the $24.8 million investment to speed up development of augmented reality displays that will fit into more fashionable eyeglass frames than have been available so far. Meanwhile, Excellus, also of Rochester, will modify its Multifunctional Fiber Laser LiDAR, or MFLL, system for aerial carbon dioxide measurements under a $3.5 million contract with NASA. Opsense of Canada said it's received an order of more than a million dollars for fiber optic sensor systems to be used in mining operations in South America. Perceptron of Michigan will supply laser-based 3D measurement equipment to two Chinese automakers and Prophotonics of New Hampshire said it will replace a structured light laser module for industrial alignment on an aerospace manufacturer's production line. Two business partnerships are setting out on separate missions to develop compact 3D cameras for mobile devices and potentially machine vision applications. One group is led by Pelican Imaging, the other by Omnivision. Both companies are headquartered in Santa Clara, California. Still ahead, the finalists for the PRISM Award for Materials and Coatings plus lighting up and wiping out cancer with a single wavelength of light. Want to be featured on Light Matters? Email lightmatters at photonics.com and tell us why we should have you on the show. Continuing our preview of the 2015 PRISM Awards, we'll take a look this week at the three finalists vying for the title in the materials and coatings category. French firm Alphanoff's one-step femtosecond laser nanotexturization process enables improved solar cell yields and creates hydrophobic or hydrophilic surfaces. Sub-wavelength anti-reflection microstructures from Tel Aztec of Massachusetts can be etched or replicated during the photovoltaic manufacturing process to improve bandwidth, angular performance, and durability. And still being scintillation crystals from Inrad Optics of New Jersey are used for radiation detection and applications in medicine, industry, research, defense, and homeland security. The PRISM Awards are presented annually at Photonics West by SPIE and Photonics Media. They recognize innovative light-based technology products that solve problems and improve quality of life. Tune in next week to learn about the finalists in the optics and optical components category. You can also find out more at photonicsprismawards.com. Nanoparticles that fluoresce, give off heat, and generate reactive oxygen species when illuminated with near-infrared light could help surgeons wipe out ovarian and other forms of cancer. The combined imaging and phototherapy platform was developed by researchers from Oregon State University. Earlier this week, Light Matters spoke with the team leader, Professor Dr. Ole Teratula, who described how the technique affected laboratory mice. When we exposed the tumor already with the drug, to near infrared light for 10 minutes, what we noticed is that the tumor started to shrink uh, during uh, period, uh, several days, and on the 10th ten, ten days, it dis uh, disappeared. Teratula's team kept an eye on the mice for 25 days. 
In that time, the cancer did not return, and the mice experienced no side effects or weight loss. The nanoparticles also proved effective on other kinds of cancer cells when tested in vitro. While other groups have explored systems for simultaneous cancer imaging and phototherapy, Teratula said his team is the first to introduce a technique that uses only one active ingredient excited by one wavelength. He said this makes the approach simpler and better suited to clinical translation. Uh, some companies, they express some interest uh, to, to this type of development, but they want to see more data, especially more animal data, and that's what we try to do now. So we, uh, we try to, uh, uh, as, as we discussed previously, so we try to move to the uh, larger animals like dogs and show the efficacy of that compound like, in vivo. The research was published in Nanoscale. And that's it for this week's show. There are tons of ways for you to connect with us on social media. Find Photonics Media on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, Pinterest, and Instagram. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.